Hey everyone, Dennis K here with Belize Islands Real Estate. Hope you are doing well today. Uh, today is uh, is Thursday, April 8th. And I want to tell you about a new listing that has recently come back on the market. This lot had sold, uh, went under contract, but the buyers were not able to fulfill the contract. So uh, luckily for one of you, <laughs> or fortunate for one of you, uh, this lot has now come back in the market. And I'm going to take some time today to really explain the neighborhood of South Ambergris Key. Many of you have seen me go into detail about Secret Beach, and North Ambergris Key, and Punta Azul, and Margaritaville, and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but I don't often talk about the south side of Amargus Key. And basically, I don't do it because it's an inventory. It, com it comes down to inventory. I just don't have much for sale down there. First of all, there's not that many properties available. And when they do come up, they tend to sell quite quickly. Uh, so for example, uh, last week, I came to you with two beachfront properties in this area for 185 and 195. Um, those might have sold. I have to check with the listing agent on that so they don't stay on the market too long. Uh, but today, I want to talk to you about a main road lot and just cut right to the details. If you're interested in a main road lot, 50 by 100, uh, it has uh, it has seller financing with it. The price on it is 75000 US, comes with the 10, 10, 10 program. So those are the details. But I think it's really important if you're looking for something in this area to really understand the neighborhood. So first of all, there's only one way in and out of South Amicus Key, and it's this road right here. And along this road, you're going to find beachfront lots to your left and off beach lots to your right and not a whole lot else. We're gonna show you the uh, Google Earth overlay map here in a minute, uh, but uh, starting at San Pedro Town, which is up in this general area right here. So let me just kind of go through the map. So here is San Pedro Town proper right up here. So when you land, you land here, here's the uh, airstrip, get off the plane, you're right in San Pedro Town. Now, if you were to rent a golf cart and drive south, you would pass one of my favorite places, Wine Divine, Keep going south, you pass the Yacht Club to your left. Uh, Steph and I lived there for five or six years. Come on down even more. And now you're gonna pass Victoria House, which is on the ocean and the Mahogany Bay Beach Resort. So all that's about two miles south. Now, if you keep going along this road, you see how the, the island sort of narrows out down here. And uh, it just has this one road coming down. And if you were to go down about five, to five and a quarter miles south of San Pedro, you would dead end at the La Sermine project. Now, what is that? Well, that is a brand new project. Uh, to me, one of the most exciting projects on Ambergris Key at the very, very tip of the island. And so what's kind of neat is this is sort of the tip of the entire Yucatan Peninsula. So uh, we know Ambergris Key is an island. It's separated from mainland Mexico just by a small canal. But if you could jump that canal, if you started walking from La Serene, you could actually walk to Playa del Carmen, Tulum, and Cancun if you could just uh, jump those little canals that separate Ambergris Key from Mexico. So this is really the, the tail end of Ambergris Key and the tail end of the Yucatan Peninsula. So La Serene, what is La Serene? Well, let me just show you here their website. Uh, let me see here. Uh, there it is. So the good old boys at Remax, uh, they have a couple condos listed here in La Serene. So this is a project that is currently under construction. It's going to house not only these big, beautiful condo buildings, but also the largest marina on Ambergris Key. You can see they have a nice channel coming here. This is currently being dug out and it is just going to be a spectacular property. I'll just kind of go through some of the artist renderings here with you so you can just get over of you. Uh, they have sold out of quite a few of the units. There are some that are still available. So if you're interested, let me know. Uh, for example, here at, uh, at Remax, Richie has got this nice two bedroom, two and a half bath uh, listed for 820,000. It is, uh, let's see, 2,146 square feet. So a nice, big, big condo. Again, just a beautiful property uh, that anchors, again, the southern tip of Ambergris Key. So let's go back to our map. I want to show you exactly where the lot I have listed is located. And to do that, I'm going to stop sharing this screen and pull up my Google Earth overlay map. So if we just go down, kind of backtrack from La Serene, so if we go to the end of the island, which is right here, you can see the project currently being built. This is the area here where the marina is being dug out. And if we just come back to this general area right here, we're going to see lot number 63, all right? So 
it's essentially a, a third row lot just because there's two lots in front of it. So it's a third row lot with road access. And there's all, besides the Serene, there's also a couple other very nice projects in this general area. For example, there's some beautiful single family homes built in here. There's the Las Brisas property, which is right here. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. And uh, going up, you have the Salt Life project going on back here and uh, some other really unique things going on here. You see they got some canals coming in and they have some other really nice resorts up in this area. So why would I recommend lot number 63 uh, to someone who's looking for a property in this area? Well, you can take advantage of the um, business opportunities in this area, because right now there is a lack of business opportunities. There's not much down here at all. You can see there's, a, there's some single family homes built. There's gonna be a nice new resort at the end of the island, but in between there, going all the way up to the Black Orchid restaurant, there really isn't any place to get something to eat, to hang out, to uh, buy any necessities like grocery stores or anything like that. So I think Lot 63 will be really nice if someone wanted to put up a single family home, uh, but in connection with that, have uh, some sort of commercial opportunity. So I just go back to my um, my Google, not my Google Earth, but just my, uh, some of the websites I wanted to show you. So you see, here's a nice, nice overview here, map of it on Google Maps. So you have La Serene here, that lot 63 will be right about in this general area. Now this is kind of interesting. This entire area right here is part of the Marco Gonzalez Archaeological Reserve. So this is where they find uh, found some, uh, some Mayan ruins from the ancient Mayan civilization that existed on Ambergris Key. And uh, let me see if we go there. Here's some pictures of it. I wanted to show you these because, you know, Ambergris Key was occupied by the Mayans uh, many, many years ago. And you can find evidence of their life there. Some, some broken pottery that's been found, some uh, other artifacts that have been found in this area. So it's really neat uh, to own property literally a couple of blocks from here. So you can go back and visit here. Um, it's not fancy, but it is, it's kind of neat when you get back in there to you know, feel like you're a part of something different and kind of stepping back in time. So that's kind of a, a unique feature of that area. What other things can I show you about this area? Yeah, I wanted to show you Ho Chan Reef Resort and Villas. All right, so let me just pull up that. So this is the uh, TripAdvisor website and you can see Ho Chan here. So it consists of several buildings, just beautifully finished condos, four-story buildings. You're right on the Caribbean Sea. They have a nice pier out there for their guests to use. Um, there's a sunrise over the Caribbean. They have nice pools in front. So the reason I wanted to show you this is just to, to give you an idea of, of what the South Amargus Key neighborhood looks like. Uh, the resorts tend to be smaller in scale because there wasn't a lot of larger parcels for developers to buy and build on. So you have these more uh, boutique style hotels. Uh, here's another one that is down here. This is a uh, I think it's a single family home that's being offered for rent to, to vacationers. It's called La Perla Azul. Uh, again, it's a beautiful home right on the Caribbean Sea. So this is in that general area. Just to give you an idea what people are building down there. And also uh, this property here called um, Las Brisas. So this is also really, let me just play uh, 30 seconds of this video to show you this property. All right, so it's a little blurry. The quality is not top notch, but it does give you an idea of the property looks like. And so you would pass this on the way to lot number 63. This would be on your left-hand side as you drive south. There you go, guys. So <laughs> this is what I'm gonna give you an idea of what the uh, South Amherst Key uh, subdivision looks like. So um, what else can I tell you about this property? 50 feet wide by 100 feet deep. Oh, you know, there, there is one more video I wanted to show you uh, because let me see, I found this video on YouTube, not this video, but a different video. And I wanted to show it to you. Yes, so here it is. So, I want to show you this video. Again, the quality is not super high resolution on my screen, but this is now a view looking from south to north. So San Pedro town is up here, Mahogany Bay Village over here. So the, the southern road comes and winds down. Here's the main road heading south. Again, dead ends at La Serene. But let me just kind of go through the video and I'll show you exactly where that lot number 63 is located. 
So as the drone scoots around and now starts to look west, all right, you see this road, how it comes in here, gains access to these beachfront lots here, which have sold now, by the way. But then if you go right here, you see this structure right here, okay? And you have this little building in front. So right in front of this uh, building, which is a fourth row lot, you find the third row lot, lot number 63, that is for sale. So it sits right here. So now watch as I swing around, you'll be able to see La Serene in the background. There you go. So there's La Serene right here. All right. So everyone who stays at this resort, um, when it gets completed and built out, whether it be an owner or vacationer or whatever, is going to have to come down this road and pass this property. So um, I don't think it's going to be a super busy road uh, in terms of noise, uh, but it is going to be a traffic road that would benefit uh, some business owner. So again, what you could do is you could put your house in the back of the property put it up on stilts, you know, elevate it maybe 15 feet so you get some beautiful views of the Caribbean. And then on the ground floor, have a pizza business, a taco shop, a, I don't know, a little uh, rum bar, a little to-go rum bar or something like that. Um, but that would be pretty neat. And again, you're sitting right here overlooking the beautiful waters of the Caribbean Sea. Now, right out here is the number one uh, tourist destination in the entire country of Belize. It's called Ho Chan Marine Reserve. So it just does a, it does a tremendous amount of, um, uh, it just, it's just a great spot to go and spend a morning or an afternoon snorkeling and diving and just, it just the great, it's like swimming in an aquarium out there, just absolutely beautiful. I didn't pick up, pick any pictures of that, but you can just Google whole Chan Marine Reserve and that'll pop right up. Again, so the lots, that lots for sale is, is sitting right in this general area right here where my cursor is. All right, guys. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, again, Lot 63, 75,000, 10, 10, 10 program. Um, cash offers will be considered, but reasonable cash offers. So no low-balling low this one. It is the only lot available on the road. I think it's a screaming deal. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. We'll go from there. All right, thanks a lot. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.